Hi, I'm Ellen Utter with MSCR Fitness, and today we're going to do Pilates bar combination. Now, you'll need a mat and a set of weights between, I suggest between two and five pounds. If you don't have weights, you can use soup cans, you can use your own body weight, you could also use water bottles. So let's begin. We're going to do a warm up, weight work, thigh work, seat work and some core, and then we're going to end up on the mat doing 15 minutes or so of Pilates mat. So let's get started. Let's get started with the warm-up. And just go back and forth a little bit. Side to side, little side stepping, just warm the body up. Hope everybody's doing well today, and this is a great way to get a total body workout, it's low impact and it's high intensity. Okay, let's bring the knees up, a little marching. Now let's add elbow to knee, try to bring the knees up toward the elbows. We'll add a little twist. Just work as hard as you can. And I'm sure you will be. Breathe. And I'm going to stress alignment as we're working out. You'll hear me remind you to keep your shoulders back, your bellies in. Think about your ears over your shoulders, over your hips. Now let's do some, do some kicking. Make sure you're breathing. Okay, let's stand with our heels together. This is first position. And let's bring our right foot out and turn out. And let's do a little balance. Feel free to touch a bar. You can also use a chair for balance, anything that's waist high. I had forgotten to mention that. So let's bring it up. And two, three, firm your belly and keep your shoulders back. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's do the other side. So start first position, left foot legs turn up and up. Two, and three, four, and five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, now let's come into what's called first position parallel. So getting your waist high support, come up on the balls of your feet, and let's bend the knees. Your feet are parallel, your knees are pointing forward, your toes are pointing forward, and you're just gonna go down a few inches and up, and down a few inches and up, and down, and up, down a few inches and up, down a few inches and up. You can modify by lowering the heels if you ever feel you need to. So always keep that in mind. This is your practice. You do what you need to do. So we're still warming up the legs a little bit. And we're breathing. Let's do another set of eight. And seven, six, and five, and four. Three, two, and one. And let's kind of shake it out. Feel free to bring your water, take a drink of water if you need to. Okay, next we're going on to the weight segment. So, like I said at the beginning, I suggest between two and five pounds. So I'm using threes. So we're going to stand in a primary posture. Our feet are in parallel. Bring the weights so they're just a little bit in front of your thighs. Let's bring the shoulders back. I want to show you a little shoulder exercise. Bring the right shoulder up, down, around, and back. Right, now the left. So keep them back there. And we're going to do sets of eights. So let's begin. One. And two. Make sure you're breathing, you're standing nice and tall. 
You're not leaning backward or forward. Four. Shoulders back. Five. Good. Six. Seven. And eight. Okay, now bring them back up their shoulder height. Bend and straighten your arms. These are called flutters. One, and two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Circle it in. And two, drop the shoulders. Three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. And circle it outside. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And lower the arms, shake them out a little bit. Let's bring the shoulders up, down, around, and back again. Do it one at a time. You're setting them back where they belong. Okay, now, next, up for eight, two, and three, three, four, and five, and six, seven, and eight. Bring them back up again, and do the splutter, bend and straighten, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Keep them up here, circle them forward. And two, you're gonna feel them in your shoulders. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring them down, shake them up. Okay, next. Let's bring your arms so your arms are hugging your waistline. You've got your weights out at a diagonal. Now you're just going to go back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring them out. Shape of a W and bring them in. Bring them out, drag it in, and out, and drag it in. And four, five. So I'll do the counting for you. Six, seven and eight, and bring them down again. Okay, now we're gonna raise them up, drop the shoulders, make sure the weights are parallel, your hands are facing each other, and I'm gonna do little lifts. So I'm gonna turn around so you can see me. Lift, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Circle it in, two, and three, and four, and five, and six, seven, and eight. Bring them up, circle them in. Up, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And bring them down, and shake them out. Okay, next, let's make a little chair. So bring the hips back. Your feet are still in parallel, belly is in, and weights are down, sure the shoulders are back, lift up for eight, seven, six, five, four, how are we doing here? Three, two, one, up and out, in and down, two, three, Really keep the belly firm in here. Five and six. Doing great. Seven and eight. Now bring them up. I'm trying to work this underarm area. Three. Elbows up. Four. Five and six. Seven. And eight. And then stand up a bit. Now bring your arms up to goal pose. We're just going to do a few more before we go on to the thighs and the seat. So let's do a little bitty lifts. Two, three, four. Drop your shoulders here. Five, six, seven, eight. Now go down for two. 
Bounce go down and up for four. One, two, three, four. And down for two. Drop the shoulders. And up, two, three, four. Down for two. Breathe. And up. And down. And up. Let's do three more. Remember, you can drop your weights off at any time if it gets to be too much. Always use your own body weight. And up. Two, three, four. Last set. Down for two. And up. Two, three, four. And shake it out a bit. Okay, next, we're going to bring the weights up, drop the shoulders, palms up. Eight curls. One. And two, and three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Circle it forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, I can feel that. I don't know about you, but I can. We're going to do another set, and then we're going to go back. So, again, curl one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, seven, eight, circle it back, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, and eight, and the turns. Rest a little bit. We still have triceps to do, so I want to do two or three exercises here. So I'm going to have you bring your right foot forward and left foot back. So our feet are in turn now. Let's hinge the hips forward. Hips are square. Look down to the floor and then bring the weights up here or no weights and a pull for eight. Two. Notice my shoulder blades are down and back. Three. And four. And five. Six. Seven. Eight. Now keep them long and low and back and then straighten them for eight. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Switch feet. So I'm just going to turn around, bring the left foot forward and the right back. Square the hips, lengthen forward, and bring those arms back again. But this time we're going to circle it in. Two. Notice my shoulders are back. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Now circle them to the outside. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, last one. We're just going to turn the palms, turn your hands on the weight so your palms are facing back. We're going to do little lifts. One, two, three, two, two, three. So it's actually in three levels. Three, two, three, four, two, three. Feeling at the back of your arms. Five, two, three. Six, two, three. Seven, two, three. And eight, two, three. And then lastly, we're going to do little pulses. We're just going to stand straight up and little pulses. Five sets of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And hold. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And hold. Three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hold. Four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hold. Five, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, hold. Done. Take a drink. And stretch out your arms. It's always important. Make sure you're going to be hydrating after class, too. Okay, I did the right arm. I'm lifting my right elbow up. Really stretching it out. And then we've got the other one, just kind of hook that left arm, drop 
the shoulder, and up here. And then let's stretch our arms out. Open up your fingers, almost like you want to push the walls apart. So we're getting a good stretch in your hands and your wrists. Drop the fingers down and push and shake it up. Good job on your weight work. Next comes the thigh work. So we're going to start in a second position. If you think of a horse pose or think about a clock. So your feet are in two and ten o'clock. Um, bend your knees. The knees should track over your feet, over your ankle, that you feel nice and comfortable. Think about really lifting your body up. Ears are over shoulders and hips. Root the feet down. We're going to come down an inch and up an inch. We're going to do this 25 times. Down an inch and up. Three. So here you might want to support, you might not need it. Four and five. The back of the chair works just fine. Six, seven. Think about really magnetizing your inner thighs toward each other as you're rooting those feet down. Eight, nine, ten. If I talk, I might miss a number, but we'll just keep going. Eleven. It's okay to do an extra one. Twelve. Thirteen. And 14, 15. I can really feel it in the back of my upper inner thigh. I want you to feel it in your belly. I want you to hold that in. I want you to really be upright. 13, 14. Another cue. Think about your shoulder blades sliding down an imaginary wall. So you're not leaning forward. Your butt is not sticking out. You're just going straight up and down. I'll say this is 17, 18, 19, don't cheat, do them all, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25, and shake it out a little bit. So we're going to stay here. We're going to come up into releve. Releve just means to rise. So. I've narrowed my stance a little bit. I'm up on the balls of my feet. And then I'm just letting myself slide down, down an inch and up, down an inch and up. I might, I'll just face the camera this way, down and up, and down and up, down and up. Five, and six, and seven, and eight, nine, really feel your legs shaking, ten, eleven, and twelve, and thirteen. You can get others to join in on the exercise with you if you like. Fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. 17, and 18, 19, good job, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24, 25. Okay, shake the legs out. Next, I'm going to turn to the side, still the second position. And come up on the balls of the feet. Notice that the knees are tracking right over the ankles. That's the way we should be positioning ourselves. And we're straight up and down. We're going to come down and full range. Keep your knees soft as you do this. Down and full range up. Two, three, and four, and five. Six, seven, eight. We're going to do another set of eight. Eight, seven. In relevé. Feel free to drop your heels if you need to. Three, 
four, and five, and six, seven, and eight. And we'll bring it down. Let's do little pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Little ups. One. Really pushing down on the ball of the feet. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can feel my leg shaking. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Shaking is good. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Shake it out. Let's do a little stretch. So I'm going to take my right hand and put my right foot in it. I'm going to push my knee down and bring my heel to my butt. Breathe. And then let's stretch the other side. So left hand around the foot. And do the same thing. Push the knee down, keep the belly in. Feel it. Nice stretch of the quad. We aren't done yet. We're going to grab our weights or not. And we're going to do a combination. Second position. Okay, bring the knees down so nice and easy. Knees are tracking over your feet. And we're going to bring our left weight to the waistline and raise our right one up. And we're going to lift up for four, three, two, one. Bring it across. One. Keep the plie here. Three. We're stretching the side body, the right side. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do the other side. Up for four, two, three. Four, reach, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now you're going to come up on the ball of your right foot. Still have your weights in the second position. And you're going to do eight little downs. Bring the weights back. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Full range. So straighten the leg, bring the weights together. Two, and three, and four. And breathe. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's switch. So now you're on the ball of the left foot. Knee is right over the ankle. And go back. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Full range up. And two. And three. And four. And five. And six. Seven. And eight. With the weights away. Take a drink. You can always stop, take a drink when you need to. Okay, one last thing with thighs. Let's do 16 full range in releve. One, two, three. Good job. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And 16. Okay, let's do a little butt work. So take a drink. I encourage you to drink often. Water. Right foot forward, left back. So we're going to be coming into a lunge. You're on the ball of your left foot. Come up on the ball of your right foot. We're going to do some little downs, a little sequence. Eight little downs. Two. 
three, the knee doesn't touch the floor, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now bring it up, one. You're pushing off on the ball of that left foot. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Now bring the front foot flat and go down for eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Full range. Up, two, three. Really feeling in that back leg. Hamstring. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's bend the back knee and come up. Hips are square. Two and three and four, five. You're going to feel this work in your standing leg. Six, seven, and eight. Bring it down. Bring it up and back. Knee up and back. And three, keep the hips for four, five, six, three, seven, eight. Now, let's come up and down with the front leg. The back leg is parallel to the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn the leg out of the hip. Up and down, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knee. Remember, the left leg is still turned out. Circle it back, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lift it up for eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Bend and straighten for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, the standing leg must be really, really sore. So let's do a figure four. Flex your foot and sit back. I tell you, I can feel it. And I know you can too. Whew. Breathe. Working hard. And just release that right heel. Let's take the left leg and do a figure four on that side too. Now the standing leg is going to become the working leg. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay. So, left foot's going to go forward. Right wing back. I'm going to be up on the ball of my left foot. Heel. The knee is tracking over. Your ankle, your heel is up. Down a few inches and up. Two. You can use your arms here. Three. Four. Five. This is great for balance. Six. Seven. Eight. Now bring it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Little downs, eight. Bring the front foot down. You can keep it up if you like. Five, four, three, two, one. And bring it up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, bend the right knee and bring it up. Hips are square, two. So we're just kind of pitching forward here. Three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, down, come up, and back. Two, and three. Four, five, three, six, seven, eight. 
up and down with the front leg. Legs are parallel. Leg is parallel. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Turn the right leg out of the hip. Up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bend the knee. Circle it back and turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bend and straighten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Let's take it to the mat. Good stretch. We really work those hips. Oh, I don't know about you, but I should feel it. Flex a foot. To get a little more sensation, you can always push the knee away a little bit. And let's do the other side. I'm a little bit out of breath, which is okay. This is a total body workout. Okay, let's just lie on the mat. We have a little time yet for the mat. And let's come into what's called constructive rest. So your knees are Hip width apart, feet are in parallel. And think about shoulders down, open the collarbones, nose toward the chest. Let's think about we're resting on our sits bones and not our low back, so we're not in any kind of a pelvic tilt. We have a little space behind the low back. And let's just bring the hands to your chest. Thumb to the lower ribs and little finger to the hips. And bring the elbows out wide. Let's take a couple breaths here. Inhale, expand your breath. And then exhale. Burn your belly in. And just connect your front back to your back. Your anterior chain and your posterior chain. Your back muscles, your front muscles. So inhale, expand it wide. With the breath, bring the breath up, exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Let's stack your hands behind your head. Let's inhale here and exhale. Draw your belly in, lift your head, neck, and shoulders up. Look at your belly. Drop your tail down. Lengthen back. And inhale. And exhale, draw the belly in. And back. Inhale, get long, get wide. Exhale. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders. Lower down. Let's do some roll-ups. We're down on the floor. You can bend your knees, or your legs can be straight, bring your arms up, and back over pad, drop your shoulders. Inhale, prepare, nod the nose, and let's stretch up. Reaching over, keep the shoulders back, and come all the way back. Now let's do a couple more. Inhale, prepare. And exhale. Reaching up, reaching over. Inhale nice and tall. Exhale, draw the belly back. Another breath. Inhale. This is a breathing exercise. So you're inhaling, you start the exercise. Exhale, draw the belly in. Legs are heavy. And reach yourself up and over. And inhale tall. 
and exhale back. Again, inhale, prepare. Now the nose, exhale. Reach yourself up, reach yourself over. Inhale, tall. Let's bring our right knee in with us and stretch out your hamstring. We do a lot of movements with stretches. So point and flex, circle the foot, push the hip away. So really you're spinning your hips forward. Let's turn our right foot off the hip, do some leg circles, inhale, exhale, down, round and up. Keep your body stable. Inhale, exhale, round and up. Two, three, and do five, four. You're crossing the midline, leading with the heel. Five. Now let's do an out, outer circle. Inhale, exhale, round and up. Two. Nice long legs here. Three, four, five. Stretch. Point flex. Let's take that leg out to the side. Really stretch out that inner thigh a little bit. Hips stay on the floor, shoulders stay on the floor. And bring the leg back in, shake it out. It becomes a standing leg. Bring your left knee into your chest and stretch that left leg. Push the hip forward so you're actually resting on your sits bone. Turn the leg out of the hip and circle here. One and two. Feel nice and long in your spine. Feel like you dropped your tail. Nose toward the chest. Three, four, and five. And reverse it. One, two, three, four, and five. And stretch. Take it out to the side. Soften the knee. Always remember to keep your joints soft as you're doing these stretches. And come back up. Let's bring the legs into a tabletop position and put your hand in your own belly. And we're just going to do some toe drops to try to flatten the belly. So one, come back to tabletop and the other foot. So I start with my right and my left. And I'm breathing, really contracting my whole belly here. Three, four, Five, you can take your hand off and keep it on there. Six, seven, eight. And bring your knees in your chest, back side to side. Let's do one more and then we're going to stretch. We're going to do a single leg stretch with our head on the floor and our arms up here like you're holding onto a beach ball. Spin the hips forward, drop the belly. Inhale, extend your right leg, bring the arms down, and exhale, and inhale. The object here is to flatten the belly. Inhale, one leg, arms go down, exhale, arms come up, other leg goes up. Three, and four, and five, and six, seven, breathe, eight, Let's come up for a spine stretch. So we're going to sit nice and tall. Inhale, tall. And then we're just going to round the spine forward, draw the belly back in. Feel like your back muscles are lifting up as you lean forward and come up. And again, lean forward. And bring it up, and then forward, and bring it up. Okay, time for stretching. A little cool down work. So bring your left knee, bend your left knee, bring your left foot in, and then just turn your body and stretch. Flex. Breathe.
And then let's switch. Bring your right leg, right foot in, left leg out. And turn the body to stretch. So how's everybody feeling? I hope you're feeling like you had a good workout. Like you felt something in your butts, in your hips, in your thighs, in your bellies, your arms. Let's bring the feet together. Give yourself a couple more stretches to do. And let's lean forward. I want to make sure we really stretch out those inner thighs as we work them hard. And I want to make sure we have a nice hip release. So we'll do a pigeon. Breathe. Okay, let's have a wide seat. So bring the legs up, flex the feet, bring your arms forward. So I'm, you can be off your mat sometimes, you can be on your mat. Flex the feet, grab the toes, soften the knees, lengthen forward, breathe. Stretching. It's a good idea to stretch at least between 20 and 30 seconds to really let your muscles release. Just a good rule of thumb. Stretch and breathe. Sink deeper into it. Okay, let's do a pigeon. I think we've got time for a pigeon. Okay. So, we want to bring our right knee forward and our left leg back. And we can either be up here or you can come all the way down. The idea is trying to make sure you're releasing that right hip. Let's come into, unbend that knee, come into a quick down dog. Stretch, shoulders back, lift up, and then bring your left knee forward, right leg back, pigeon, pigeon on the other side. Breathe. Just ready to sink into that breath. Release your left foot. Okay, you can hold this as long as you want to. And then let's come to a nice standing position. And I'll finish off with a little stretching. Breathe in. And then lengthen down. Soften your knees. Fold your belly. In. And roll it up. One vertebra at a time. And there was your Pilates bar workout.